Hey, this is Kim, and obviously I'm back yet again with another Supercard how-to video. You can find me on these pages and social networks. That's my entertainment blog, Multiscreen Moody Vision at .wordpress.com, on hub pages, which these videos will most definitely be on one of my WWE Superstars pages, uh, hubpages.com slash at Zodiac Immortal, and then on Twitter and Pinterest, I'm at Kim O. Dragon. Now, We are in the middle of a battleground, but I'm going to show you how to do some of the base, um, the basic games. Royal Rumble takes a little bit to play. Um, it's pretty much exactly that. Uh, so here you start search for an opponent, and it takes about sometimes 10 to 15 seconds. I don't think I've ever had one an opponent come up in less than 10 seconds. Um, here we go. Now these are how many trophies you have and through this um, we'll have to, I'll have to try to remember to show you the rewards. I forget what, oh, the rewards is those card backs, that's right. But it depends on tier where the Trish, stat Trish status one was, was Finn Balor, and then they changed it, so... Apparently my goal is only going to, um, Undertaker right now. So, you pick a matchup, so I'm going with Miz, he's my highest card at the moment. This is your next card. So, that Rusev card is a lower card than mine, as well as the all the points, so I should win this, if you can see, I don't know, um, okay, so, after you win your first, it doesn't count toward winning, but you have to choose, uh, um, now, I only have character, and, I mean, charisma and speed, but I save my, my, um, well, we'll go with a Big Show card, but I'll show you, my Brock Lesnar SummerSlam card, I usually save to absolutely kick ass in this. Usually, it's usually I'm good unless somebody has a card like that or a higher rank card, then I'll lose. But I usually go for a while and end up winning with that one. Same with this um, Big E card here. Um, oh, toughness. That's the second one down. So you're just basically trying to keep the ring. So you gotta go by which card, what type of card you have, as well as checking all the points and, you know, using your highest cards. So basically, being that you're kind of playing yourself in a sense. You just want to go along with, I'm going to choose the Charisma and then go for my, um, I guess maybe I'll use Big E next. But usually I only have to use about two or three, um, cards in this, depending on which ones come up first. Sometimes it's better when my two SummerSlam cards come up, you know, in the beginning and then a little bit, like, the last maybe three or four, um, matches as well, so... Um, now that they've won, I will use Brock instead, just so I can make sure I can... That that should get me two for... Maybe four to six, um, wins, depending on what of my other cards comes up. Most of them seem to be power and toughness. So... So, like I said, power, and that's already at 480, so I'm not going to use it. I'll use toughness. And the next one I'll use will be the Mark Henry card you saw at the end there, which was charisma. Now, if you want to make these go faster, you can always just tap the thing. Here's Mark Henry. 
I'll use Sting next for power to finish off the Lesnar card. I don't know it, how it figures out what cards are supposed to be charisma and speed and everything, but Brock always seems to be speed and he seems to be my only one. So, as I said, I'll use Sting here. I think these take about maybe, I don't know, 15 minutes. This one takes about maybe 10 or 15 minutes, but it could be less. I'm not really sure. I never officially timed it. Um, okay, so now I have four to zero. I'm going to use Biggie and try to finish them off. Now, I don't know, but you might hear my um, TV in the background. I'm watching the chew, but I'll lower it. Um, okay, so now we've got a boost on power. We've got 2,755 toughness, uh, speed, and then charisma. So we'll use, we got no choice but to use the power card. So I'm thinking you may have the idea by now, and after um, this, whether you want to lose, you get, you know, to draft cards. Depending on what your level is, basically you're going to, at my level, with Survivor and WrestleMania and SummerSlam and whatnot cards, you're going to end up um, feeding most of them to your other cards, or to a single card, because the higher the card, the m longer it takes to boost it. Now, you want these cards boosted each time, even if you just do, like, one card to try and get it going, so that when you play other games, pardon me, <coughs> so that when you play other games, like Battleground, um, Power Toughness B will go with Toughness again. You know, you can hopefully have higher cards than the other team. But that doesn't always work. Not to mention, if you own or are in a team, your team always doesn't always cooperate. There's always a few floaters. If not, I think about half my team actually is active, and the other half just floats along. So, uh, we'll use power, because that's all we have a choice of, and I'm only at 66, so I'm going to lose this. But my deck is on two cards away to being empty, so I um, should win, although the very last, uh, that, that's a problem, the very last, um, oh wow, how does my Finn Balor card win, and it's only at 800, <laughs> that's funny, um, I'm gonna go with power again, just because my um, I think that's Callisto, if not Ray, not Ray Mysterio, I know that, I think it's Callisto. He's, um, a WrestleMania card, so I would have to save him for last. So you're getting my strategy as to helping you to win individually. If I show you how to do Battleground, I'm not telling you squat. <laughs> now, see, match 15, you get plus three points. I should most definitely win this, I think. Oh, wait. Yeah, I think I might win this because I think Survivor was a lower rank card, yeah. So I get an additional. So right there, that's where they can get you if you're tied with somebody. But even sometimes you are maybe tied with someone. You may get those three points after being behind. And somehow you win, even if it comes out being like a 7-7 seven to seven tie. So that I don't get. I don't know why they they don't just give you, you know, let both people win. So, now I get 32 trophies, and here's the draft, that's, um, what the heck do they call it, enhancement card, um, you put those, I'll have to show that, that's a rare card, and then you just keep going through this, those energy cards is for when you're in, um, King of the Ring. And you have to keep up charging them if you even want the chance to win. Sadly, I I have been somewhat kicked down in the King of the Ring. I just looked this morning, and for once, I am not in the finals. 
I lost my semifinals round. I am very disappointed. And, I mean, I didn't think I could get disappointed in these kind of things. But, hey, you know, after coming, after being, you know, like, either king of the ring or coming in second for each of them, I'm surprised. Anyway, so I'm going to give show you a couple of other things. Here, obviously, is the store. This shows you, like, the events, but there's no event coming up. This deck is your Ring Domination de deck. Um, this is your Road to Glory deck. And you just, this has, I think it's 15, 16 cards. 4, 12, 17, Okay, I'm sorry. 20 cards and then 2 support cards. And the Ring Domination deck has 10 cards. So, um... And then, okay, so we have home, which, as I showed once before, this is where you go to charge the cards. This is where you can change your champion. Fusion chamber, which I've showed you already. You can make other cards out of your cards. But I advise, if you're going to do that, just save a couple of them, and then, you know, go along. Because you need those cards more. You, you need to charge these cards more than you need to get these cards. Um, that's play. These are all the games. Team Battleground. My team is winning so far. Wild Mode, which is three games. Ranked Mode, I'll show that next. This, These, you only get three plays, but they come up, you know, again, so we play. This was Royal Rumble. We'll show you money in the bank next, I guess. And King of the Ring, like I said, is just a simulated game. And then you have social. Your team stuff, chat, you can get to all the chats in there, your mailbox, and friends if you have anybody that's on, um, on Facebook. So, I think that covers it for now. We'll talk next time. Have a good one.